Good afternoon from the Second Age of Reason. Oh, there's so much. I don't feel like I have something really big on my head. But anyway, there's so many events today and they're very interesting. They've been several weeks in the making, but they're interesting nonetheless. Namely, the events in the Ukraine. And to the people of the Ukraine, I wish them well. Dobridin, my Druzia, Tobrich, Priato, my friends. Um, I don't know if they had help, but they achieved a regime change, and uh, it's been very interesting. There have been negotiations. The protests have been getting more and more big. And um, it seems as though Parliament changed the rules, the laws, so that the previous Prime Minister, who was in jail, those were not crimes anymore. And she was freed. And then it seems to me that the President fled. I think he's heading east to where the people might be more understanding. And... I don't know what happened to the Parliament, if they ran away as well. And the prison released the former Prime Minister. The former Prime Minister, Viktor Yanukovych, he's gone. He still says he's Prime Minister, but in the end it's what the people accept. And the new person who came out of jail, Yulia Timoshenko, now, I don't know if she's going to resume her term, if she, it'll be automatic shoe-in, if they'll have um, a nominal election of some sort to make it official, but there might be some things there. And who do these people represent? You know, did Yanukovych, did he get greedy or corrupt and it, the system didn't like him anymore? And who will uh, Timoshenko represent? Will she represent the people, the nation, or will she represent the big energy companies? I'm not sure. We have to wait and see how it plays out. So that's very interesting. I have found a few things of literature on the internet, some videos, and I'm posting the links below. You can comment on them. But there are many uh, factors coming into play here. The Ukraine has always been strategically positioned because of the way Russia is uh, geographically built, or its geography in general. The Ukraine is strategic. Also, it has a good amount of resources, so it has value that way. That's why I think a lot of people are interested in the situation. So, they want to sell natural gas to Europe, and Russia wants to sell natural gas to Europe, and Europe wants to buy natural gas, but it's a reasonable price, and everybody wants to make a profit. And so Poland, which is part of the European Union, had made an offer to Ukraine to become a European Union member or friend or something like that. And um, I'm not sure. I mean, the people of Ukraine, or Kiev at least, wanted to be like Europeans because then you get this really nice welfare or social security plan for retirement. And you get the number of benefits. You can use euros for money. Things like that. Or, or easy travel. You can just hop in your car and drive to Germany or drive to France or Portugal or wherever you want to go into Europe. So that is, has some advantages and convenience. Convenience sometimes can be dangerous too. It works both ways. And so there are interests all here. And of course there's energy. And who likes energy more than the American Empire? And maybe they have an interest in having somebody that favors them in power as well. So we know that if there is 
a nation that has energy as part of its resource portfolio, things get interesting, as they have also been getting interesting this week in Venezuela. So I thought I'd mention that just as a passing note. But as far as Ukraine, they had regime change, no election needed, the people have spoken. It would be interesting to see how many other countries that can happen with. And um, like I said, I'm going to put some links below for more information. Study them. Um, tell me what you think. Do you think it was a people's um, citizens directive? Or do you think the people were manipulated? Or do you think those weren't the real people? Those were mercenaries or agents of some kind? I don't know. I'm way over here. And maybe you have a different perspective or you've seen a different article. So, that's all for now. Interesting bit of news. So until later, we'll be seeing you.